please subscribe to the channel thank you hi friends my name is Ravi in this video session we are going to learn about CPIO command welcome back to free online tech videos so in this session I'm going to teach you or I'm going to tell you about how CPIO command works is CPIO command has um, three modes actually so one of the mode is <coughs> copy based and um, so you can see in the manual itself okay so CPIO means copy out copy in copy in copy out here there are three modes one is in a copy out mode another one is in a copy in mode and one more is in a copy past so one more mode is copy pass so what happens in the copy out mode copy out mode CPIO copy files into an archive so which will create an archive actually so whenever you are into the copy out mode so these are the options will work these are the options will work in copy out mode so in this options what it will do it will create an archive so you can also use the format to specify what format you wanted some message to the uh, users to send some uh, information like that you can do a archive using an a copy out mode in copy out mode so basically cpio command is mm, is just like in a tar to create the archives but here the wonderful future is in the cpio command is only like uh, find the files and they go and archive them that is the main future in the cpio in copy in mode what it will do so cpio copies the file out on a archive or list the archive content so it will extract the files CPIO it will extract the files whenever it is in the copy in mode okay so it will you can use co copy in copy mode you can use these are the options so these are the options to use you can list out the files on the archive or you can extract the files okay like that so in copy pass mode what it will do CPIO copies files from one directory tree to another if you want to copy some files like one directory tree to another directory tree like uh, as it is you wanted to uh, copy the same as it is in directory structure you can simply use pass mode in this pass mode so there are so many options are there so you can use uh, these are the options if and p so pass through the option if an R and the user and group the so all the options you can specify and you can just create an a copy in copy out archive let's see here ls you can simply uh, type I'm just passing the CPIO command here so ls output I'm just passing to the CPIO command I'm going to create a small archive so archive dot CPIO is the extension I'm going to use so here you can just click here what happens so it says too many arguments sorry I did not specify the redirect option here to so what happened it send the file to the archive and it's going to create an a archive file here see here CPA archive dot CPIO file has been created what happens so it will created if you want to extract that file you can simply use cpio iphone i for extract v for verbose and you can redirect that file to somewhere else or uh, you can redirect here itself archive so what happens so the file is already exist that's why it's, it's not creating it's not created because newer are the same age version of the files like that you can simply use cpio command on the go to mm, pass some of the output and create the archive you can also use find command find okay if you want to find something here slash and uh, print so i don't want to go 
in depth of each and every directory i wanted to go one level depth whenever i wanted to create the archive see cpio and create an archive say slash dot cpio which is going to be a one level depth of the slash all the directories will be created as a archive see now so it is going to be fetch all the slash files and it is going to be create the archive here okay which may be going to be take long time so that's why i just terminated here and if you want to see the files of the archive what are the files are there in that archive you can simply use uh, cpio iphone it okay content of the following the files and provide the followed by the file name and provide the path so it will show you all the files what are the files are there in that archive you can also pass something like find i would like to say uh, name what are the name you would like to find find the name without case sensitive under the example say in current directory itself in current directory itself and i would like to find all txt files dot txt files and go and create some archive using this cpio i'm just going to say o v for verbose if you want and if you want to specify some format let's example say i want to create some tar file here if any h for using the tar and i'm just redirecting it i'm i'm going to say text files text files dot tar so now which you can go and see that there is a tar file created likewise you can create the any tar file you can find some files or you can grift some files you can also write the data to the tape drives like the same way you can write the um, drive um, files to the tape drives for the backup if you want to write directly you can simply use uh, the same way and provide the format of that file example the same command i'm using here instead of providing the file format to the here so what i'm doing here i'm just passing this file format to the uh, device name slash dv slash um, rs rst0 something like this so which is the tape device and what i want like to say i would like to ex execute the command to write that data sr slash bin slash ssh so what is going to do it's going to find out the .txt files and it's going to format and going to create an archive with the cpio and format is star and the same file i'm file with the file name of ravi and going to write to the tape drive so currently i do not have any tape drive attached to this system i'm not going to execute this command likewise you can use the tar command to if you want to tree structure copy okay you can simply use cpio as example say idv so dv d is the name directory structure v for your bros i for extract okay so you can extract the archive using like this or if you want to create an, a directory structure you can simply use od so create an archive directory structure and bypass to the file name and it will going to create directory dot cpio so it's going to create an a directory structure and what you can do again you can use the i option revert back that and extract the cpio files so there are so many options in the c archive but uh, most of the options which are not useful on these command line base actually if you are uh, utilizing with the another devices or if you want to do some uh, without buying some softwares of the 
like uh, backup software or kind of stuff you can simply use cpio to archive those files to somewhere else on the um, different storage boxes or different um, uh, tape drives so you can do that this is about the cpio command thanks for watching stay tuned please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask